Great day at school. Hi, Miss Marigold. Hi, Miss Marigold. Hello, everyone. And hello to you. <laughs> Buckle up, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> Graham crackers does shovel have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many is that? Eight. Eight graham crackers, right. Okay, so how many graham crackers does Pail have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many is that? Seven! Seven! Right! Hey, good counting. So, how many graham crackers do we have all together to bring to the picnic? Well, let's count them all. Will you count with me? Great. Here we go. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Oh. So how many was that? 15. 15 graham crackers. Great adding because seven plus eight equals Fifteen. Fifteen. Right. Yippee. Hello. Don't you know I'm a rainbow? Oh, oh. The name's Rainbow. Wow. I can't believe it. Slippery would be so excited. <laughs> Wait. Slippery. Oh, he'd love to meet you. Could you come back home with us? <laughs> no can do, sweet peas. I can't just show up anywhere. I need three things before I appear in the sky. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what three things do you need? Come on up here and I'll show you. Oh. Watch your step now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Going up. Every rainbow needs raindrops on that and refraction. Raindrops on that and refraction. Here comes a rainbow with colors are blazing. If you want to see a rainbow, you need three things to make it. Some like it when the rain stops. But a rainbow needs raindrops 
raindrops, raindrops, raindrops. Watch them fall out from the sky. Next, I need something that shines bright, like a beam of sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Oh. One more thing, and here's the action. The raindrops spin the light, and that's called a fraction. Let's read. Puppy snack. The and the ate a girl. Hi. Hi. Oh my. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, ah, huh. do you think the ate a girl? Hi. Is a sentence? <laughs> no. Hmm. Yeah, no. Because that's just plain silly. Okay, so who do you think ate a snack? The girl, hi, and, and the, the puppy. puppy. Oh yeah, the girl, hello, and the puppy. Okay, so let me get this straight. The girl, hi, and the puppy ate a snack. Wow, what a sentence. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's read the whole story. <clears throat> a girl threw the ball. A puppy caught the ball. The girl and the puppy ate a snack. The end. Wow. That was a great book. Hmm. So, I had seven blue dollars, and then I spent two on that crayon. So how many blue dollars do I have left? Five. Five, right. One, two, three, four, five five blue dollars left to spend. So, do you see anything I could buy with five blue dollars? How about those great blue striped socks? Do I have enough dollars for those? No. No. Hmm. Those socks are six blue dollars, and I have five. Hmm. How about that cool hat? Do I have enough dollars for that hat? Yeah! Yes! Oh, it's three blue dollars and I have five! Yes! So, what are you thinking? More presents? Yes, I would like to purchase that hat, please. Oh, that's a great choice. It has a guitar on it. <laughs> you can totally buy that hat. That'll be three blue dollars, please. Okay, here you go. One, two, three. Oh, look, I have two blue dollars left over. <laughs> Thanks. One hat coming right up. I love the blue, it's gonna look great on you. Thanks. Cool, my new hat. And it's all wrapped up like a present. And who doesn't love presents, right? I mean, not me. I love presents. I love presents, too. Always good to see you, cuz. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome. Come back anytime. Colors mix above my head. Colors mix above my head. Like orange made with yellow and red. Orange made with yellow and red. Looks to me like yellowish green. If we want violet, we know just what to do. Just mix our two friends, purple and blue. Just mix our two friends, purple and blue. Mix blue and yellow, and they're suddenly green. Mix blue and yellow, and they're suddenly green. Then blue and green make aquamarine. Hey, 
Hey, Blue. Boop, boop, boop. Here is the book you wanted to read. Boop, boop. Hey, diddle, diddle. So, here we go. Boop, mm. boop, boop. <clears throat> hey, diddle, diddle. The cat. Cat and the fiddle. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. The, oh, you know these words. You can read these. The cow jumped over the moon. Oh. <laughs> the little dog. Dog. Yeah. Left to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Yeah! Wow! Great reading! Mm -mm. Yummy sweet potato pie. I would love a piece. Yes, please. Us, Us too! Oh no, there's only one pie. What should we do? Well, I hear sharing is a great idea. Hmm. Oh. One, two, three, four. We need four pieces this time. Huh. How can we cut this one pie to get four pieces? No, oh, um, in half, in thirds, or in fourths. Hmm. What do you think? Fourths. Oh, cutting the pie in fourths. Good thinking. Like this. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, you know what we're missing? Hmm? Cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. Mm. Yum. Yummy yum. Cranberry sauce. Who wants sauce? Me. Me. No, thank you. Oh. Okay. So we need three pieces. How should we cut this to get three pieces? In half? In thirds, or in fourths. What do you think? Thirds. Oh, oh, in thirds, yeah, because that would give us three pieces. <laughs> Thank you for helping us share. Anytime. Have a wonderful felt feast. Thanks. Aye, aye, Bubble Beard. We're here to help you. Ahoy, veggies. Let's find the shapes we need. First, we need a shape with three sides for me sail. Hmm. Which of these shapes has three sides? The triangle, the star, or the oval? The, the triangle. triangle. Right! The triangle has one, two, three sides. Ahoy, mateys! Let's find the shapes we need. Next, we need a shape with four equal sides. Oh. Hmm. Which of these shapes has four equal sides? The circle, the triangle, or the square? R, the square. Right. The square has four equal sides. Ahoy, mateys. Let's find the shapes we need. Last, we need a shape that's half of a circle. Oh. Which of these shapes is half of a circle? The diamond, the semicircle, or the circle? <gasps> the semicircle! Oh, yeah! The semicircle! Because the semicircle is half of a full circle. Nice job. Oh, oh. Me pirate ship is complete! Thanks, me mateys! <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, Josh. Well, the sun's a hot star. Mercury's hot too. Venus is the brightest planet. Earth is home to me and you. Mars is the red one. Jupiter's most wide. Saturn's got those icy rings. Uranus spins on its side. Neptune's really windy. And Pluto's really small. It's called a dwarf planet. We wanted to name the planets, and now we've named them all. Wow! I think I found my new jam. So, we have a metal coin, a metal whistle, and a wooden crap stick. I wonder which one of these floats. Ooh, let's test them out and see. Which one floats? The craft stick. Yeah, the wooden craft stick floats, and the metal coin and metal whistle sink. Woo! Uh, uh oh. Oh no, it won't go forward. Uh, uh. Okay, we need something to pull me on the ski. Bow, 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 bow. Let's make a boat to pull Paprika. Oh. Okay, a boat. Bow, bow. Well, a boat floats, right? Right. So, we have a metal spatula, a sponge, and a metal bolt. Which one do you think will float? The sponge. The sponge. OK, we predict the sponge will float. Let's test them and see. Let's do this. Was our prediction correct? Yes. Yeah. The sponge floats just like a boat. And the bolt and spatula sink. So, sponge boat it is. Uh, uh. Hang on, Paprika. We're shoving off. Cool! A story! Let's listen. The duckling felt really sad. And then... <gasps> oh. How do you think Purple Kangaroo is feeling? Sad. sad. Hmm. Mad. Oh, sad. Mm. Ooh, and mad. What do you think he should do? Should he tell Magenta how he feels so they can share the story? Or should he grab the book back? Hmm. Which do you think he should do? Tell Magenta how he feels. <gasps> hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you how I feel. Sad and mad. Because it's not nice to grab the book. Would you like to share the book with me? Now that's a great idea. To share. Oranges grow on trees on trees. Oranges grow on trees. The trees go down, down in the ground. They grow down in the ground. We grow on vine, on vine. What colors are this blue bottle butterfly's wings? Blue and green. Right, they are blue and green. Let's find those blue bottle butterflies. Yes, let's go. Okay, blue and green. Blue 
and green, blue, and... Oh! Oh! <gasps> Look! More butterflies! Which of these species are the blue bottle butterflies? The ones with blue and green wings. Look at those blue bottle butterflies. They're the same species as you, Bruce. Yes, there you are. Thank you for helping me. Oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oh. I'm Malachi Maddie. I can't find where the other Malachi butterflies are. Will you help me? Oh, of course we'll help you. Let's take a closer look. What colors are her wings? Green and black. Yeah. Green and black. Hmm. So. Um, oh. Which ones are the malachite butterflies? Hmm. The ones with green and black wings. They have green and black wings. They're the same species as you, Maddie. Oh. You really know your butterflies. Yes, thank you so much. Bye, Josh and Brew. <laughs> Bye, Bye, butterflies. What do you think that is, Pale? Wow. What are you doing? We're experimenting with nature. Oh, good idea, Blue. Do you want to experiment too? Great. Oh, and then we can go look for more Blue's clues. Okay, what do we have here? It's the color red with black <gasps> dots. Maybe it's a, uh... oh, it's one of those, uh, um, ooh, what do you think it could be? A ladybug. A ladybug. Let me see. Oh, it is a ladybug. See the black dots? Oh, oh, oh! And take a look at this. What do you think this is? It's the color green with ridges. I know this one. It's, uh... What do you think this is? Grass. Grass? Oh, yeah! It is grass. It looks so different close up. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, Josh, you have to take a look at this. Oh. Oh. <gasps> what do you think this could be? It's full of little lines. Yeah, kind of wrinkly or something. Well, what is it? It's your hand! My hand? Hmm? Oh! <laughs> it is my hand! The first little pig made her house out of straw. But then, the big bad wolf came to blow her house down. Oh, uh, could you help me blow the house down? Oh, good. Thanks. Come on. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. Nice job. Oh, uh, the second little pig made her house out of sticks. Time to build my house out of sticks, sticks, sticks. Oh, but then the big bad wolf came back to blow this little house down. Could you help me blow this house down, too? Okay, good. Thanks. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down! Aha! Cute little piggy zero. Big bad wolf. Two. 
Now, the third little pig was super smart, and she made her house out of bricks. But then, the big bad wolf came back to blow this little house down. Uh, could you help me blow this house down, too? Thanks. Hey, you're really good at this, you know. Yeah. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. <laughs> the house isn't moving. <laughs> we need to huff and puff some more. Here we go. Huff and puff and huff and puff and blow the house down. Go. Whoa. The house isn't moving. I'm giving up. <laughs> and alas, the wolf could not blow this brick house down. Very impressive. <laughs> Josh, to start our thankful feast, will you read from your thankful book? Oh, sure. <laughs> My thankful book by Josh. <laughs> I'm, oh, do you remember what I'm thankful for? Right. I'm thankful for you, my blue striped shirt, and blue. Bow, bow, bow. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, and side table drawer is thankful for our notebook. Mm -hmm. bow, bow. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper are thankful for all of their children. Yes. Oh, we. Oui. And Paprika and Cinnamon are thankful for the twins. Sweet little babies. <laughs> and my graham cracker phone. And my baseball hat. Oh, right. And Mailbox is thankful for stamps, of course. Mm-hmm, of course. And the Felt family is thankful for sharing. We sure are. Oh, do you remember what Blue is thankful for? Fall! Autumn! Autumn. Oh, yeah! Blue is thankful for the season of autumn. <laughs> hey, how about you? What are you thankful for? That's wonderful. Oh, oh. Once upon a time, Blue went on vacation to the... Do you see what I see? Huh? Hmm. Where do you think Slippery is imagining Blue is on vacation? A beach. A beach? Oh, oh. Yeah, a beach. See? The buttons are the sand, and the wavy lines are the blue water, and this button is the sun. Wow! Cool imagining, Slippery! So once upon a time, Blue went on a vacation to the beach. And then she went on a... Do you see it? Hmm? Oh, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm looking and, uh... What do you see? A sailboat. A sailboat. Right. So once upon a time, Blue went on vacation to the beach and went on a sailboat ride to see the fish. But... Your turn, Magenta. Hmm. What do you think Magenta is imagining? Snow! <laughs> it snowed! <laughs> Good one, Magenta. <laughs> it snowed on a beach vacation? <laughs> so Blue made a snowman. <laughs> 
the end. <laughs> a snowman on the beach? That is some imagination you got. Okay, let's all gather on the circle rug. It's finally time for Blue's show and tell. Yes. It's wonderful, Blue. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's great. Oh, 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 oh.